produce, you know, a little thin bale to try to uh, block out some of the UV rays coming in. That actually has helped keep temperatures about a degree or two cooler today. I know it's not much, but uh, anything kind of helps. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds this evening across northwest Arkansas. Earlier today, we were watching a few showers get towards Joplin, and then as they approached the state line with Arkansas, they started to fall apart. And then we're real safe in the River Valley. We're in farther south, so uh, we just have partly cloudy skies this evening. We're in the hundreds now. We'll probably get out of the hundreds by about 7 o'clock. We may not get back to some 80s until 10 or 11. And what's not fair is that we're sandwiched in between some bands of rain. So we've had some showers off towards the north. Those fell apart in McDonald County. Now we've got a few extra clouds in northwest Arkansas, but then you head south and boy, the tropics, you know, you head towards the Gulf Coast and several showers and thunderstorms continue to bubble up in the heat. So we're just kind of in the middle right here where we don't have much going on, just a lot of sun and at least a couple of clouds. We'll take some of those clouds too, uh, but we are dry. We're definitely dry for this evening, but we may not be completely dry as we go into the weekend. We at least have some minimal rain chances going into Saturday and Sunday. Essentially, Saturday late afternoon and evening, there could be a few little pop-up showers here and there, and then those will continue Saturday night into the Sunday morning, and we may have a few more Saturday or Sunday afternoon, and then we're done. Then we are done for the foreseeable future. There's not much in sight after this. So here's your forecast tomorrow as you're starting out the weekend. Temperatures getting back to the upper 90s in northwest Arkansas, getting close to 100. And the River Valley will definitely hit some low 100s, I think, throughout the afternoon. Partly cloudy skies. Best chance for a shower will be a little bit later into the day. Here's a look at future cast as we look at some of these rain chances as they're going to come up. Uh, here's Saturday morning as you're waking up, headed out the door. Mostly sunny, a couple clouds off in that northern sky, and they may start to bubble up a little bit more throughout the afternoon. And there's a chance for a stray shower here or there, especially later into the evening as the clouds start to thicken up a little bit and throughout the overnight as you're waking up Sunday morning, maybe partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. But then later Sunday afternoon, we may get one more push and that'll give us a chance for a quick shower or storm, but not everyone's going to get one. Because of the tilt of this front, the farther north and east you live, the better chance of rain you're going to get. So maybe 40% chance more back really far into uh, you know, Newton County and Carroll County out into waterfall country. For much of northwest Arkansas, just about a 30% chance. That means there are a couple showers that may pop up, but a lot of us are going to stay dry this weekend. In the River Valley, especially south, from Fort Smith southbound to Poto and Greenwood and Boonville, Chances are very slim. No way to get around that. Here's your forecast throughout the weekend. Temperatures in the 90s. And then next week, boy, we've got some big time heat coming in. In northwest Arkansas, I believe our hottest temperature we've had is 101 so far this year. And we're going to go well beyond that. In the River Valley, we've hit a 106. We may do better going into uh, next week. We've already hit uh, 100 in the River Valley 12 times this year. We're going to add to that tally next week. 107, my gosh. All right, Matt, thanks. With the hot, dry weather expected to continue, you can keep up to date with the latest areas facing burn bans all summer long on our website.